Uh, hi, my name is uh, James Young. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to uh, introduce um, the uh, uh, bridging ideas with uh, Taiwan's uh, foundry powerhouses uh, from the viewpoint uh, of um, semiconductor business model. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, may, maybe uh, maybe you know, maybe you don't know that um, all the semiconductor business model is uh, from Taiwan. Uh, why? Uh, because um, uh, Taiwan has a complete semiconductor industrial chain and the supply chain uh, clustered in the Xinzhu Science Park. Uh, uh, how, uh, how clustered it is? Um, uh, there is a joke in the Xinzhu science and the uh, technology part. Uh, if you fail an interview, don't worry. Uh, just a uh, free uh, walking distance, another chance will waiting for you. <laughs> so you know how close it is in the Xinzhu science and the technology part. And also uh, just like um, uh, Stanford and Berkeley in the Silicon Valley in the United States, uh, we have um, National Tsinghua University and the National Jiao Tong University and the E3 uh, in the Xinzhu uh, Science and the Technology Park to do the advanced research uh, for the uh, semiconductor uh, technology. Okay, uh, let's move on the uh, first uh, semiconductor business model, which is uh, IDM, uh, founded uh, in United States. Uh, as you can see that um, in the IDM company, that um, design, and the manufacturer are in one company, uh, which means that um, the foundry can only service uh, IDM company itself, okay? Uh, so uh, that one result in that um, uh, if there is no design be finished uh, in IDM company, foundry has nothing to do for it. So that result in the uh, high maintenance cost for the IDM company and the low utilization rate for the foundry and uh, finally result in the low income and the low profit for foundry. So a uh, fabulous um, concept had been proposed by Dr. Morris Zhang. Uh, in, uh, I think maybe in 1987, uh, under uh, Taiwan government support, uh, Dr. Moi Sang established uh, TSMC to open the fabless era. As you can see that um, uh, in this model, design and the manufacture are in the uh, different uh, independent company. So uh, the design house no longer to uh, take the um, uh, uh, ending cost for the, the foundry, okay? Uh, and also, uh, the foundry can provide the uh, manufacturing service to many different independent uh, design house, uh, which cost the uh, 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 ICDR house that um, have a lower uh, operation cost than that one in the IDM company. And uh, uh, for the foundry, uh, the utilization is high, uh, but the uh, uh, just like uh, the same uh, similar scenario in the IDM, uh, if there is no design finished by the front end design department, uh, back end design department has nothing to do. So uh, it's better that we separate the back end department uh, to a company. So uh, the other uh, fabulous model had been proposed. Uh, as you can see that uh, in this uh, fabulous uh, business model, uh, front end and the back end are in the separate uh, uh, independent company. Uh, and uh, the front end design house uh, no longer to uh, take care of the uh, uh, back end uh, design department so that uh, can lower the operation cost. Uh, for the back end uh, design uh, company, uh, they can uh, provide uh, many uh, backend design service for the front end uh, design company so that the utilization of the uh, backend department uh, is going to high. Uh, but uh, is this the uh, 
a good model for the semiconductor industry? No, because design houses need the PDK from foundry to design the uh, IC. But for the foundry, it's hard to check the uh, spread of the PDKs and the uh, uh, foundry competitor are easy to uh, get those kind of um, process parameter secret from the PDK from uh, design houses. So uh, the third um, model had been proposed, uh, which is that the foundry start to invest or hold the backend uh, design company. For example, TSMC hold uh, GUC and the UMC hold Faraday. Uh, the foundry only released the PDK to the backend company and the, all the ICs want to tap out to that, com that foundry need to go through this um, backend design uh, company. So that um, uh, in this uh, business model, uh, uh, all the, the, the secret of the foundry can be kept uh, in a small range. There will no leak uh, for the uh, confidential information uh, of the foundry. Uh, this is the current business model for the semiconductor uh, industry, but um, is it the perfect uh, business model? No, because uh, for the design houses, high research and the development cost uh, is uh, very um, essential and uh, also long development time uh, cost the uh, long time to market. Uh, based on my past uh, 25 IC design experience, there is no design project on time can be finished. Every design project is delayed. So um, uh, every time I hear that um, uh, sales team tell me that um, uh, our IC product uh, postpone again to put into the market. So uh, a whole new uh, business model had been proposed, which named the designless. Uh, as you can see that um, in this um, uh, picture, uh, ICD house only take care of the uh, spec and the architecture definition and uh, uh, take care of the sales and the marketing for the IC product as well. So all the design job are outsourcing to the design service company. Uh, because uh, the design service company take those kind of uh, design project from IC design house. So they need to finish the project on time. Otherwise, the uh, design service company will be charged for penalty for the delay. So the uh, design service company can help the IC design house to put their IC product into market uh, on time. Uh, this is the, the business model undergoing because uh, for micro IP, we are a design service company. Now, Qualcomm is also seeing the design, uh, design project to us to, for their next generation IC product. So this, this uh, business model is going now. So uh, let's conclude that um, uh, which is the uh, best uh, bridging idea to uh, Taiwan foundry powerhouse. I think uh, maybe uh, you can start to uh, partner with uh, design service company in Taiwan, uh, especially to partner with um, micro IP. <laughs> uh, micro IP is the top five uh, design service company in Taiwan. And uh, with the design experience um, from mature uh, process to the five nanometer, technology node. And uh, we also uh, have a, a very successful design experience uh, in the application fee about uh, of the um, uh, AI, editors, and the multimedia and the wireless communications. Uh, so uh, partner with micro IP will make you succeed in the semiconductor business model 3.0. Okay, that's it for my uh, speech, thank you. A round of applause for James. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, James. Thank you. That was very good. Um, so I've got a couple of questions. One of them is um, you talked about, in fact, if we could go back to the slide of the new operating model. And you, there we go. This is the one, the design specification. Uh, it's the current one. Uh, it's almost like your penultimate 
slide. You were talking about you have the design specification marketing here, yeah, and then you have the so the front end, the back end. Uh, one question I was I was thinking was when it comes to service level agreements. Uh huh. You were talking about the need to hit deadlines. Yeah. Because otherwise it has a knock on effect. Yeah. Um, how are you seeing those service level agreements uh, be drawn up? Uh -huh. And is there resistance uh -huh. in the relationship when people are keen to move quickly, but actually the rigor of each of those processes perhaps takes a little longer? Uh -huh. So I'm keen to hear your thoughts about where's the resistance, this one here, uh -huh. uh, sort of relationship between this element and this element. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the IC DIA houses, mm. uh, because uh, we, uh, if you also send uh, this kind of uh, design project to the uh, uh, design service company, all the quality and the, the schedule will control uh, by the design service company. Mm -hmm. So, uh, large lower the uh, operation costs and the, the uh, RD cost of the IC DIA houses. That's what Qualcomm need mm -hmm. because um, Qualcomm have so many uh, IC products. So if um, uh, they phone, uh, they want to uh, design one IC product, they need a team to design this IC product. They, if they have 10 IC products, they need to have a 10 uh, a design team for the 10 IC products. Mm -hmm. But if they also see this kind of um, design project to 10 design service company, they will, uh, the first one is uh, this 10 uh, design project will parallel do the design things. And uh, the other one is that um, uh, they, they don't need to uh, take the overhead of the 10 team of the, the, the design houses. Right. Yeah, but uh, last, this model is not only for the uh, huge company like Qualcomm, but also uh, suitable for the small, tiny company. Because for the small, tiny uh, design house, maybe um, just have um, three or five people in that company. They, they cannot offer uh, lots kind of overhead to have a design team. So it's better that the, uh, this kind of tiny design company also send the design project to the design service company. And then once they get the uh, IC product and put into market, they will get a revenue and uh, they will hire their profit and then they can have the money to hire the designer to do the IC product in the short future. Wonderful, that's so good to hear because this came out in conversation earlier today, which is everything we're talking about uh -huh. could end up being the privilege of those with huge budgets. Yeah. But what you're saying is actually those small, medium-sized organizations can also benefit as well. Yeah. James, it's been phenomenal. Thank you. for Please join me in thanking James for all his thoughts today. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. Fascinating. Uh, and, and of course, all those efficiencies as we go upstream and downstream really, really matter. We're going to welcome a second speaker to the stage, and he is the director, Deputy Director General of the Taiwan Semiconductor Research Institute at NAR Labs. Let me just tell you a little bit about him because he serves as the Researcher Fellow and Deputy General responsible for the roadmap of heterogeneous integration of intelligent sensing systems. And he was invited to become an adjunct professor at the Academy of Innovative Semiconductor and Sustainable Manufacturing at NCKU. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Dr. Ying Zhong Zhuan. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. It's over to you. OK. Uh, oh, thank you, everybody. Uh, uh, today, uh, uh, I will now introduce the IC deny challenge in the new era. Uh, I'm Yin Zhong Zhuang, uh, the Deputy uh, Director General of PSRI, Taiwan Semiconductor Institute, uh, now Labs. Okay. Uh, if we consider uh, the, the integrated circuit, so first, uh, uh, we, we will talk about the computer. Uh, it's uh, about 60, uh, 60 years ago, uh, the computer more like the calculator. Yeah, so, and uh, next stage, uh, it become uh, something important is graphing uh, about 50 years ago. Uh, and then uh, the smart machine, yeah, with the embedded sensors. So 
but it's not really intelligent. Oh, so because uh, what's, what's intelligent? Uh, at that time, uh, some people told me, oh, uh, oh, the, the system is smarter with the sensor integrated, it could feel the world, and it's, it's intelligent. Oh, no, it's, it's not intelligent. Oh, intelligent must come from the brain or mind. Yeah, not from your finger. Yeah, your finger can touch the world. Yeah, you can feel the world, but uh, you, could, you could sense the world, but it's not intelligent. But until uh, about now, uh, about maybe uh, three years or, or four years uh, ago, yeah, the AI yeah, put the smart machine to be real intelligent. Yeah, so uh, the, the successful story is just uh, everybody know, just the, the uh, in the uh, maybe uh, 80 years ago, the AI, yeah, is a study topic. Yeah, but it's for the expert, it's expert system. So it be, has been used for the expert, not for, for common people. Yeah. So uh, the successful, successful story is about the, the smart user interface. The famous one is the, just like a theory. Yeah. And, and then, the, the Amazon Alisa system, yeah, it's very, very uh, powerful, the smart user interface. And to make the AI to be a very successful and almost everybody know, oh, what's AI? It's very important. Yeah, so uh, AI to learn by the big data in the cloud uh, is uh, intelligent, really intelligent uh, nowadays. But what's the important in the future? Uh, for the uh, feature uh, intelligent, uh, uh, I think the most important thing is just uh, like the smart user interface uh, to be um, uh, more. Uh, what's more, uh, the, the, the interface, uh, the human interface in the natural way is very important. Uh, not just pronounce you could, the speech, uh, the writing, the portrait, oh, almost everything, and not just the single object. Uh, it must be in the family, yeah, you can feel the, the scenario, yeah. So the smart human interface in the natural way will be the uh, uh, next big thing, yeah. So the, uh, the AI uh, learning is not just on the cloud, so in the future, it, be, uh, it must come to the edge part and maybe the local sensing part is very important. So there are two big things. What kinds of big things? One is a powerful server on the cloud and the edge, yeah, is the first thing. And the second thing is about the training of the ALT device. Yeah, oh, so there are, yeah, there's two big things in the future, okay? So, Back to the semiconductor, uh, about the, the two things, one is the more slow, the dummy shrink, uh, the device must be oh, more high speed, more high speed, high performance, yeah, it's more slow. And for uh, HPC, uh, high bandwidth band, uh, memory, yeah, follow this trend, yeah, this, the dummy shrink. And another way uh, for AIoT, yeah, the more and more from the, uh, the, the IF, uh, radiation, the power, the sensor actuator, yeah, you could sense the world and, and the biochip, yeah, uh, to work as the special chemical sensor. And uh, uh, somebody talked about, hey, the, the final destination um, must be optical. Uh, I, I think it's possible, yeah, but it's a hot topic for optical integration uh, into the IC, yeah. So, so nowadays, uh, for optical integration, our most important uh, technology is the silicon photonic. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, in uh, in the near future, yeah, we have different kind of application to drive the IC industry uh, to uh, to combine with the different kind of technologies. Yeah, from the mechanical, the optical, yeah, many things we be together, but it must not be single chip. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, this, this, uh, this chair and this chair, no, single chip is impossible. Yeah, single chip just could be 
uh, accomplish part of your uh, module. Yeah, the uh, final uh, powerful module, you need the advanced uh, wave whatever package technology to do together. Uh, you need a 2.5 uh, dimension, a three dimension technology. Yeah, to integrate for different kinds of application and spatial stack technology for having with memory, everything. Yeah. So for the big thing of the uh, high computing uh, uh, server requirement and application requirement, you need a special technology platform to integrate all the things together. Okay. So uh, in the future, yeah, advanced wave wave package uh, solution, yeah, is one of the, the 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 key issues. Yeah, in the future, yeah, it's a example of the uh, the integrate uh, two point dimension uh, two point five dimension integration. Yeah, using it could be the to integrate the include the AI chip. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, the the. A power device with again, yeah, Gandhi and I try devices with the up transceiver. You have the function of the uh, the, the wise kind of communication, and for the uh, bio application, it could be integrated with the biochip with the microcomputer, and for the uh, high speed up, up optical communication. Yeah, now just like the 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 optical or uh, CPO solution or package optical uh, is to integrate the EICPIC is, is the uh, very important module. Okay. So uh, uh, it's, it's very important. So uh, TSI, yeah, uh, provide uh, the uh, integrate technology uh, to be used for the AI chip. Yeah. And for your application, it must be a uh, SOC integration together, yeah, possible. And uh, you can use to uh, for the different kind of, of sensing uh, requirement. You can in integrate just the gate sensor, it must face up. You can use to be temperature sensor. Uh, it could be face up, face down, and uh, humidity sensor. Uh, any kind or uh, many kinds of uh, application you could integrate or uh, use the powerful uh, platform together. Okay. And uh, about the next topic, uh, for now, uh, if we talk about the high, uh, very powerful uh, cloud computing, yeah, for its optical, yeah, the optical communication is very power efficiency. There are two uh, special, uh, 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 it's, it's a very power efficiency and a very high data rate. So hey, what's a good, uh, what's excellent solution? But why we use we not use the optical, uh, the, the the solution, the optical uh, data transfer solution for your portable device, yeah, for for the data center for everything. It is just useful now. The most useful the long distance uh, optical communication. Yes, now because uh. Uh, I have talk, uh, talking about in the uh, previous slide. Yeah, the the how to integrate uh, the optical is uh, the IC to be from a very tiny module is very difficult. Yeah, so uh, for now, now we have to uh, solve uh, the problem of the the uh, high data rate, uh, high power, uh, powerful data center. So the long distance communication have to. Uh, Shrink to uh, for the rack to rack, it must be uh, one to one hundred meter. And for now, the more important issue is the couple uh, couple cable. Yeah, the couple cable uh, have the limitation of the the status high speed data transfer. The status is not to uh, up to the limit. Uh, so we have to uh, for the application up to. Uh, up to uh, more high than or uh, eight gigabit uh, bit rate uh, per second, uh, we need to create the solution about the optical uh, use. Uh, so ball to ball, you need to down to the shrink size from the ball to ball about fifty cent centimeter. And even now, it's for the chip to chip is one or uh, down to one centimeter. So it's very close. Could be used for the the micro module. So 
compactly uh, use the uh, electrical part and optical part to be compactly together is you know, now is the, the technology have to start. It's uh, the challenge in the future, many big issues. Uh, so uh, the final uh, the final decision uh, in my thinking is about uh, I think uh, the the include the crash mode include the quantum computing. Ah, I think uh, it's very important. The quite but not just the crash mode. For the high purpose computing, uh, the quantum computing is very, very high speed, but it just limit to some kinds of special uh, application that need to use special algorithm. Yeah, can solve part of the, the problem, but for the, the general uh, purpose, yeah, the need to com uh, combine with the, just the HPC on the cloud, but the power efficiency on the cloud uh, in the room temperature is not the Best solution. So for Chrysimos uh, using uh, for the uh, quantum computing, then have, must be done to maybe 4K. And for the terahertz, the the IF transfer, how uh, it could be how uh, down to uh, 77 K. And for the uh, high uh, high performance computing, or uh, the need to down to or uh, maybe uh, uh, 230 K. Yeah. So different uh, temperature range the deny the, the become for the happy uh, computing uh, is very uh, important so in the future um, the, the 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 upgrade we be uh, integrate with the, the the AI quantum yeah and HBC together to be hybrid computing uh, is the final solution I think it's we be uh, final solution maybe uh, in the past uh, future of uh, five to ten years. Okay, so uh, for these kind of things, yeah, uh, TSI, uh, we uh, provide the powerful device. The the IC could be put together with a sensor. Uh, yeah, it's flexible. Yeah, with the different kind of the, the sensor and the CPO. Yeah, the power device could be together and we create the platform yeah you could be used to to design a uh, company with the AI accelerator with the SOC yeah uh, deny yeah so uh, include the crisis modes for the quantum okay uh, so uh, it's a uh, TSI solution uh, to provide for the future study okay so finally uh, welcome uh, to TSI thank you of the team. Thank you very much uh, thank indeed. You. Thank you. So listen, I want to open up to see whether anybody in the audience has any questions because uh, that was a phenomenal race through. Some incredibly technical insights, but also a real sense of where the future is going as well. Does anybody have any questions uh, from the floor? Um, in which case, I wonder if I could ask one. Maybe go back to, you had the three slides, I think you had uh, the three circles. Uh, so we just go back a little. The great thing about build slides. Yeah, okay. Here we go, here we go, here okay. we go. So how optimistic are you that these are going to move at the same pace of evolution to create perfect harmony for the perfect future. Okay. Uh, I it's a big question. Yeah, <laughs> it's really uh, a tough topic. Yeah, for now, quantum uh, what's, what's the, 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 uh, the, the algorithm to uh, combine the quantum computer. I, I had talked about the quantum uh, computing now just can be used for the spatial purposes with the spatial algorithm. Yeah, but uh, they are thinking about eh, it could be hybrid with the classical computing. Yeah, so how to merge two, two types of computing to x ray the, 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 uh, the computing, uh, the, the speed, uh, maybe uh, not, not too good as the quantum computing, but it could be suitable the more kind of the application. Now it's under study, yeah, for many famous group. But I think it's possible, yeah, mm -hmm. in the near future. And yes. for the AI part, because the AI accelerator is very important for the maybe to combine with the spatial, the, the niche base, the AI could be uh, with a special purpose. Um, so if to use uh, some kind of the quantum computing and part of the, the, 
the air aggregate with the uh, HPC, uh, I think uh, it, uh, the, for the application purpose, it then could be, uh, divide into uh, two parts and uh, for to optimize uh, in the two way. Mm -hmm. okay. Fantastic. Listen, thank you so much. You've covered an enormous amount in a short period of time. <laughs> Please join me in thanking Ying Zhongxuan. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's pass the uh, clicker on as we welcome our last speaker for the day. Uh, he's been waiting patiently throughout the day, and I think you're going to enjoy this. Because we've been talking about uh, design mastery. That was our first speaker from James. We've been thinking about the IC design challenges and opportunities in a new area. And now we're going to talk about synergy in action. And let me just introduce you to our last speaker. He is Chi Sheng Zhu, who is the associate researcher at the Taiwan Instruments Research Institute, NAR Labs. Um, one thing I would just mention very much about his career, um, his research field in biomems, microfluidics, medical devices, biochip, additive manufacturing. I mention that because it gives you a sense of his, the breadth of his skills. But at present, he is particularly uh, focused as an associate researcher in biomedical instrument and material development division of NARLAB. So please join me in welcoming to the stage, Chi Zhengzhu. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome. It's great to have you with us. Thank you very much indeed. Over to you. Uh, okay, so uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Zhi Shen Yeo. Uh, I'm happy to be here today uh, talking about the uh, uh, theory uh, uh, capability. Uh, so uh, capability type theory have uh, some uh, semiconductor and the uh, optical electro, uh, electro uh, mechanism system energy. So uh, actually we have uh, uh, accessible create a one-stop service credit form in Taiwan. And now we, we uh, use, uh, make a use good experience in uh, build other, another uh, service platform, just like a, a alternative method. Uh, it's a focus on the organ and chip uh, fabrication and the mass production. So now actually it's a, uh, alternative is a important trend in the future. And uh, it's not only reduce any more testing, but also uh, uh, drug screening. And now uh, alternative uh, drug, uh, for the drug screening, uh, now is using uh, uh, animal testing data, but uh, this data is very difficult trans trans to for human use. Uh, so uh, which uh, is mean uh, it is the time consuming and the costly. So how to create the, uh, the ecosystem for the alternative method is uh, very important. So now, uh, so our center is uh, uh, very plays a plays very important uh, role in Taiwan because we create a more and more uh, co facility for uh, the development of uh, industry and the academia. So now we have uh, two locations in Taiwan, and the one is uh, at the Sinzhu Science Park. So uh, the uh, the first. Uh, Location is main technology service is focused on uh, precision apps and the uh, optical remote sensing. And uh, we have uh, optical electromagnetic system integration. And uh, we have a uh, very important technology to like a uh, vacuum uh, system technology. So another one is uh, uh, a location at uh, Xinzhu Science Park. So uh, we have created uh, uh, some service platform for the startup. Uh, and we have uh, uh, biomedical and the optical deliver testing. And the very important is uh, verification uh, service. So we have also uh, incubation uh, for startup service. So now we will create the alternative means the platform uh, for the uh, alternative organ chip service. So we have uh, some core value and the key technology. So we have we are key partner for academia research, and uh, we are the uh, best promoter for the R&D achievement. So, so we are core value, not uh, only the adventure instrument. Uh, that we have a, a service in all domain, uh, just like uh, uh, healthcare engineering, and uh, art, and uh, uh, healthcare. So we have uh, several uh, key technology, just like. Uh, uh, Vacuum, uh, te uh, vacuum technologies, uh, we have uh, some uh, semiconductor processing and uh, we provide uh, 
bottom level equipment and we have a, a narrow material development. So very important is for the semiconductor, just like a, a optical electrical inspection and the high hyperspectrum remote sensing. And the very important is the advantage result result of is stable. Also for the medical, we have uh, uh, created a one stable circuit phone uh, for the uh, medical device oscillator. So we have a consulting in FDA approval and the, we have a, a bio image in integration and the uh, instrument. So now it's a very important uh, pipeline. So uh, when uh, academia established technology uh, based on uh, based on the clinical amending. So you can, uh, we, we will assist in this uh, product with the uh, prototyping and the certification. So we have a very important collab for the, this assistant, it's just like uh, IVD in, vi in vitro diagnosis. We have uh, some just like uh, HPLC or PCR machine. And then we have a uh, 3D, uh, 3D printing. Uh, we have a uh, two type of machine, one is uh, uh, polymer base and another one is a uh, uh, metal uh, printing uh, like uh, such as uh, uh, titanium and the cobalt chrome material. So we have a 3D MRI and the CT and the ultrasound and the CM. So very important we have a biochip for the uh, uh, service coating and the uh, hydro uh, for the uh, fabrication. So now Next stage, we uh, have a VMV lab. So, uh, uh, so IEC 671 is for uh, a medical electrical equipment. So, and uh, we have a, a ISO 101993 for the bi biomedical uh, testing, biomedical material testing. And uh, we have a 348 lock uh, certified for the animal testing. So uh, the next stage, we can assist uh, the research team uh, for into the prior round. And the Taiwan has a very good uh, clinical trial study. So can support us uh, as a later the, 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 the star company into the GMP and the product launch. So today we are talking about the alternative testing months. So we are coding the pipeline we created uh, another uh, press surface to play phone. So Taiwan has a very good research result. Uh, and the Taiwan government is active uh, subside fund that it wish to accelerate just like uh, this technology uh, launch it at the product. And uh, we will uh, follow uh, OECD and the uh, FDA guidance. Uh, we created have uh, some uh, quality system, a uh, system of uh, the research uh, team and uh, uh, for the uh, organ cheaper. So in, in, in this slide, we will show the, our cooperation with the uh, Taiwan uh, related uh, unit in the biotech, biotechnology. So uh, we from the innovation to the IPO. So that is the process we have uh, 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 provider regulation consul consolidating and the uh, technology disorder evaluation. So maybe uh, important is the safety testing. Maybe we uh, just will talk about the uh, service platform. Also now next stage we are called the uh, preclinical testing. So we, our non labs have uh, any more testing center can be provided any more model testing. And we in the Taiwan, we have a very good CRO uh, company can support in the, uh, just like ISO 10 1993, the process. So, and uh, into the clinical trial, actually Taiwan has a very good uh, clinical uh, facility, uh, clinical trial and uh, uh, the study and the domain know-how. So uh, the Taiwan uh, uh, hospital and the clinical trial can support us to uh, uh, study uh, IRB process. So the star company can accelerate uh, the order process and the, into the IPO and the financial uh, planning. So now we uh, talk about is uh, another platform. So we will uh, leverage industry to accelerate the commercialization of the technology from the academia and we uh, integration, integrating micro 40 technology for organ on chip application. So uh, now, uh, uh, all the 
uh, academia is from the uh, in here. So we are follow uh, ISO 2296. So it's uh, the regulation is de to define uh, the micro 40 chip dimension and the thickness at the initial uh, connection uh, process. So next stage we will uh, using the Taiwan very powerful technology, just like a uh, injection molding. We're using this uh, technology can mass production a uh, previous uh, micro 4D device. And now next stage we are maybe we have a, a, a just say the semiconductor center. Uh, in the in the future maybe integration uh, CMOS sensor into the micro 4D chip can be a real time detection. Uh, different or uh, some organoid or cell type of signal. So in the future, maybe we can generate uh, uh, electrical signal output. Uh, maybe in the future, we can use in the AI model. So pre, uh, uh, pre, uh, precisely uh, or predict uh, some drug or uh, disease model. Uh, so this pipeline, we will be considered uh, the chip, uh, the organ on uh, chip uh, micro 4 d material. Uh, very important is the biocompatibility and the sterilization. Uh, so Taiwan have uh, some uh, company can be support uh, sterilization, just like EO, EO and the Gamma. And the uh, Nalabs have animal center can be support different cell, just like a PDS. Also, uh, different cell or different uh, uh, cancer type can support in the organ and chip to develop. So now, very important is a detection system. So how to integrate the system? We can use in the uh, just like a some regulation. So we have a provider verification and the quality system for totally uh, the process. So this process either can be. Uh, uh, just, just like a micro 4D chip, uh, mass production and the uh, high ear and the two clinical trial. So we uh, follow the OECD GRV IMP guidance and the totally control this uh, uh, sole process. So now we have a system uh, just like uh, this uh, star team. Uh, it's uh, from the National Yangming Jiao Da University. So we are citizens uh, IEC uh, section 025. And this uh, uh, is for the uh, uh, lung chip and the, for the inhaler, the inhalation. So this team can be provide the AI system, can be automatic uh, analysis, just like uh, some lung disease. And the uh, provided including the AI model or step one stop service platform uh, for the this design or verification. And now this is uh, uh, from uh, Tsinghua University. Uh, so it's uh, based on uh, lung chip and uh, have a tumor microchip. So recently, this company has signed the MOU with uh, Merck. So in the future, maybe have some uh, disease model or some uh, drug screening can be fast. So we use this uh, platform as later, as later uh, the, uh, or the academia team a uh, translation to the product. Okay, thank you so much. Very much, wonderful, thank you. Um, so does anybody have any questions? Got a phenomenal amount covered uh, in a really short period of time. There's a question in the corner there. So we'll just bring your microphone to you, you bear with us. And once again, if you could please tell us your name and your organization, that'd be great, thank you. Yep, just talk straight into it. Hi, my name is Sinead. Uh, I've got a question like, how do you think you can bridge the gap between ac academia and industry? Because uh, in the as the way the industry is growing in the years forward, there's going to be a huge lab between what students are studying and what the technology is advancing. Thank you. Okay, so so the so can yeah bigger the yes we have we have a couple of uh, so there we go yeah okay so the the basic research is from the academia we are platform is a system that follow this uh, process uh, uh, just like uh, uh, mass production or a bio material or even down uh, all the quality control. So uh, some uh, 
just like a cell mechanism, it's based on the research team. So we, we would just uh, focus on the how to uh, mass production to all the process because the uh, uh, university is a very like uh, this uh, skill. Uh, but uh, in the future, marketing is very important. So we now we are uh, created just like uh, this uh, platform, a system that uh, uh, academia the, from the uh, create the idea to the product. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for your question. It's a great question as well. And also, I noticed in one of your early slides, mm -hmm. you had the kind of the pencil with the three prongs on it. Yeah, and sure. academia was absolutely on there, sort mm -hmm. of from the very beginning. Um, Xi Zheng Chu, thank you so much for all your thoughts. Please give a round of applause for our final.